throughout this game. But again, playing that offlane core bounty hunter is what we have here. All right, so here we go. Game number one. Again, playing for fun, really, at this point. Fly with the Ring of Bass early on. <clears throat> I'm going to meet up here at the bottom lane. Bounty Hunter, did get that Shadow Walk. It's got a big claw. Actually placed it down some very aggressive vision early in the jungle. 30 seconds to battle. Oh. Looking for me, looking for me. <laughs> Juggernaut's hiding behind the outpost. This is gonna be interesting. I wonder, yeah, I'm gonna look from the Radiant's vision and see when they see him. The battle begins. How they see him, he pops out. Ramsey's like, wait a second, where did you come from? Yamsun picks up the bounty rune. And of course, Baden will be fine, but. Ends up being the two for two split. It does feel like uh, these new bounty replacements that we do have a lot more contesting than maybe we did before in the previous patch. So I like that as well. <laughs> EG testing strat. Yeah, that's fair. <laughs> I mean, honestly, that, that's actually a fair point, you know, it, with this patch still so new. In a match like this, where it's a quote-unquote tournament match, but as we've stated, there, there really is nothing on the line. I mean, if you're no escape, it, it's pride. I mean, you, the fact that you have a chance to, to compete against EG, let alone possibly beat them, is a pretty big deal for them, right? Uh, but especially a team like EG is using this as practice and maybe try out a couple things that uh, they haven't been able to yet in a more serious environment. and. I, I guess uh, crit puck isn't necessarily that, <laughs> but you know, Tear Blade for Arteezy, for example. As I've stated, not really a hero that we're seeing a lot right now, so gonna get an idea of how, how he plays with this patch. And then Bat Rider in the hands of Fly as well. Also fairly unique. Mid matchup, though. A TA versus Storm Spirit. Storm Spirit 8 and 4, a TA 3 and 1. Storm Spirit gonna pop a salve. Certainly having the better of that CS right now. Oracle does have Fortune's End. No need to use it there though. It's a metamorphosis coming out from Terrorblade. Let's see, Oracle is going to disrupt the pull attempt from Fly. Be pretty annoying. Fly may make him pay though. Just going to TP out and no, stays around a second longer. He probably is dead. TP back to the tower and he pops a salve. Illusion. <clears throat> flow going back in. MC's tipping flow. Not sure what that's about. Set. That is right, a couple of these players uh, are from Russia, I believe. I believe his fly I think it is flowing now, Romchek. If I recall correctly. Ahmed, by the way, gets first blood in the mid lane. Watch potential action at the top lane, and Ahmed's busy getting a solo kill in the middle. But the point I was getting at is, uh, I'm sure they, they know each other from playing over there in CIS. 
fucking Jakiro, meanwhile, still trying to get away from this puck this whole time. <laughs> Sonic is found once again, and Crit eventually will secure that kill. Bounty Hunter. Leveling up that Janata for the time being. Dyer's top tower is under attack. The CS though, jeez. Absolutely dominating by EG across the board. Yeah, these lanes are going very well for Evil Geniuses on top of the 2 nothing start. Hero kills, but Abed got a haste rune. Refraction is ready. Gromjack should be fine. Pops a salve with it. To the top lane, though. Juggernaut spinning. Is that going to deter them enough, though? Jakiro goes down. Amson saying, what more do you want me to do? <laughs> Not much you can. Spin to keep them away. Not necessarily going to happen. Five minute banner is about to spawn. You can tell they're trying to contest for it, too. Unable to pick it up in time, and EG does make it a three for one in their favor. Oh. Yamsung could be in trouble. He does spin before the fourth stack of the Curse of Avernus. Buck is going in, though, with the Aphonic Shield. This is going to be a kill. Yep. Well played. Although, Crit is gonna die for it. Eh, he needed a regen. Mid lane, Storm Spirit, zip it in. Oracle doing what he can, Fortune's End. Slows him down a little bit, can he get a range for the attack? Yes, he can. And Fly taking credit for the kill. Kill secured. Radiant structures are fortified. Dyer's structures are fortified. Oracle just gonna get vision down. Meanwhile, bottom lane, Terrorblade putting more pressure to the tower. You see Flow. Yeah, that's off plane bounty hunter. Not a lot he can do. He's just about to level four. Yikes, this bounty hunter is not getting any farm. Not the strongest of options. And that was one thing, too. You know, we talked about what they were really missing on this dire side was maybe lack of heavy lockdown, especially to do with the storm spirit. They picked a bounty hunter, didn't really answer that. So this Storm Spirit absolutely has an open game. Interesting. Terror Blade, <laughs> RTZ, he just wants the tower kill. He gets it. He doesn't have Sunder. He's playing this really aggressive. I, I guess he is expecting to die, okay. <laughs> He's pretty much saying, please kill me. I want to go regen. That gives a little bit of gold up, I suppose. Ramses, he's diving top lane, popping that borrowed time. Silence is up, winning rift. Helping secure it. Ramses, credit for it. Four bracer build, by the way. Just, just casual four bracers on a bad end. And now he's going to run down Jakiro. One more hit. There you go. It's a silence. The illusory orbit connects. And Puck with the waning rift to finish. We do have some neutral items popping out. Romjik finds a poor man shield. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. An item that he is happy to have. Dyer's top tower is under attack. Arcane ring found by Abed. It's an item that he is happy to have. <laughs> so both these mid cores happen to find items that they'll uh, gladly take for themselves. Looks like the regen room gonna spawn bottom, so RNG favoring no escape there this time around. That's a veil of discord picked up by Puck already. It is, it's a naked veil, but still. Position four Puck. Get to say uh, crits farming very well. Dyer's top tower has fallen. Broach as well. He'll probably hand that off to somebody. 
Dyer's structures are fortified. I hope so. I think he was he was that broodmother player in the previous game that just hung on to items in his backpack and never shared them. Behold! Poor team. Artezi is like, it's like there's not even any heroes here. He just, he keeps pushing it as if he can freely do so. And I, I guess he can. They're just going to take a tier two tower in nine minutes. Dyer's bottom tower has fallen. Where's Bounty Hunter going? Maybe hunting some couriers? Yeah, it finds one. Kills it. Killed. Drums, recipe drops. That was Artezi's drums. Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. Courier kill number one. EG will have to realize they gotta be careful now. As bounty hunters on the hunt. Silence. Keen optic drops or Storm Spear will pick it up and Dyer's bang on that one off. Is under attack. Dyer are scanning. <laughs> Terrible is just over here farming the jungle even. Only again, nothing that uh, no escape can do about it. Top lane, they're focused over here. 10 minute coming in. No escape, wants to control this one. Fly's gonna realize quickly. He's gonna get the bounty room, but he's gonna try to run and uh, guess what? They don't have lockdown, so he will easily fly away. Both teams do get that experience bonus. Whoa, what I miss? Let the fun begin! Dyer's middle tower has fallen. Shovel picked up by Yamsun. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. That's map control by EG is impressive right now. Radiant Oscar. Terrorblade still waiting another 15 seconds. Dyer's middle tower is <laughs> Get that attack. courier back up. Radiant but he has plenty to be delivered. Fortified. Storm's just gonna go in. Ball lightning and crits there to finish the job. Arteezy, not the most life. He actually has Sunder though, so he's he's baiting. Hoping that he gets a chance soon. And he'll Sunder crit. Dyer's middle tower has fallen. You you don't need that life. I'll take it. Yeah, this is a nine thousand net worth lead at Dyer's eleven minutes. EG has pretty good control of this game. Yeah, and the objective play is certainly on point. And I, 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 I honestly go back to that bounty hunter pick. Just it felt really odd um, for what they kind of needed in their draft. And it was also a mix of that. But the landing phase was atrocious for you no know, escape. They, they could not deal with this terror blade at all. And obviously all three cores actually got a very good farm for EG on top of that. Not really much of a point to overthink how this game went. I'm over here. Yeah, I'm sorry, he's cutting the creep wave, already cutting creep waves at 12 minutes into the game. That desperate, he manages to take the arcane rate at least, but Juggernaut is gonna fall for that. Bounty Hunter just wants more couriers. Can you get this one? I think so. Radiant yeah, he'll find it. Has been Crit's courier. Continues to be annoying. Arteezy. For me. He's fine down here. That's that's what's going on here. The zapping around. That matter of just catching up to him. Uh, but it doesn't want to have to use more mana. <laughs> Couple of auto attacks will do it. Has the outpost vision. Terrorblade manning up. Terrorblade is gonna die. Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. So. Well, Yamsum spins on top of Arteezy. No center to be Dyer's used. Top tower is under attack. Four bracer build of a bat and has worked out pretty well so far. That's where bounty hunters going. Kill those pesky couriers. 
Oh, sees one. Can I get it? Radiance yes. Has been That's killed. a helmet of Dominator. <laughs> Alright, he's... He definitely got to start getting pissed off if you're each. It's like, all right, come, come on. Your team's down 9,000 net worth at 13 minutes into the game. Stop killing our couriers. He's going to kill another. Radiance courier has been killed. <laughs> See, this is where, like, okay, Bounty Hunter offlane, it, go back to his, it's, it feels a little odd right now for this role as he is going to be found, actually. Say so it's enough is enough, but pick up that support Bounty Hunter. Dyer's top tower. Just having on a mission of killing couriers feels like an effective strategy. I don't know. Abed, meanwhile, zip zapping around once again. That ball lightning doing a work. Nice job with the ice path. Also, the save. Jakiro, false promise on him. I don't think he's living once it expires, though. Oh, maybe he is. Wow. He does survive. He's going to try to TP out. Ramsey just wants to kill him. He can't. So, Jakiro actually lives. Good save from Oracle. However, the same cannot be said by Juggernaut. Yeah, Templar Assassin down here. Blink Dagger in hand. Top tower is under attack. Yeah, props to no escape, not showing a sign of giving up. Take a look at that uh, previous exchange. Top tower has fallen. A tribute to Hashtag production, top production top value. Tower is under attack. Blessings. Happy I got the setup. Definitely make more use of it. All right, back to live action now. Radiance bottom Templar assassins on the run. E.G. though, hot pursuit. Get it? Think she's dead. Hey, philosopher stones. Meanwhile, Terrorblade kills Sonic. Flo's chilling here. Oh, he got... No, he didn't get dusted. Oh. They actually saw him, though. Another sentry goes down. They <laughs> got to keep an edge. Another sentry. They just really want this kill on Bounty Hunter. Can they keep him in a range of the sentry? They cannot. He's just out of range. Silence hits. They know he's somewhere nearby. They ran out of sentries. Oh, no. Another orb in two seconds. Does he guess right? Nope. Bounty Hunter is actually going to live. <laughs> Radiant structures what a chase. Are fortified. They are teasy. He's got his Yasha with the drums now. The Helm of the Dominator is going to be delivered to a Abaddon, and I guess Ramsey's decides now is the time to do a Roshan. Imclaw found by Flo. He'll take that, actually. Put that on him. I may want to hand that off to the TA, though, to be honest. TA is the one that's going to be dealing your damage. Let's, well, let's be honest. Bounty Hunter is here to kill Curious. Nothing else. Immortality is mine! Don't need an Imclaw for that. Invisibility! No tower kills for no escape yet. Meanwhile, EG is pushing tier threes yet again. Dyer's top tower Storm Spirit with that Aegis. Feeling cozy. Dyer's top tower Has three neutral top. items with them as well. The Elixir, the Keen Optic, and the Arcane Ring. The Jakiro just going to throw down that macro power, do what he can, but... Actually, they're fighting around it pretty well. Spin on top of Terra Blade. He's fine though at half life. Currently has under up oh, and with the Omni strikes on him, he gets low. He brings the Juggernaut though to his team, and Yamsun turns and runs. Meanwhile, what the hell was that? That was all the way down here. Shu goes down. Flying his credit for the kill. Looks like him and Puck making that happen. Dyer's top barracks has fallen. Top Rax goes down, Metaform, it's still up for plenty of time, GG's just called. Enough is enough, they say. Game one, we'll go to Evil Geniuses. Talk about a pretty dominating performance there. <laughs> That's actually pretty funny. 
Middle of the ancient. All right, well played that by EG. No.